Another coach story I want to tell you about is a guy called Bear Bryant who used to coach the Alabama football side, the one that you will see seems to win the college football every single year. He is very well known for his leadership and motivational skills that he showed as a coach many, many, many years ago. There's statues, there's stadia, there's all sorts named after him. Bear Bryant used to always talk about paying the price, so pay the price. And he said that paying the price involved attitude, discipline, bringing effort into absolutely everything that you do, bringing the right attitude. And he used a, a, a model which I'm going to recreate for you now on this whiteboard. He talked about a good footballer, obviously he was talking in the, in the, uh, the, the NFL sense, the gridiron sense, but he was talking about a good footballer being of a value 85. He said 85 out of 100. Um, he's a very good footballer um, and he's competing against a player who is 75 I'll just go over this 85 just in case you can't see it on the camera so player 85 versus player 75 on any given day player 85 you think would beat player 75 but what Bear Bryant used to talk about quite a lot was that Player 75 won't necessarily relax on being player 75. On one given day, he may play out of his skin. He may know that he's got to raise his game to play against player 85. And player 85 may drop his game a little bit as a result. So player 85 might go down to 80, player 75 might go up to 80. And then it's down to, to the little one percenters as to which way that game goes. But where Bear Bryant really made a difference to me was the way he explained this long term. So, for example, player 85, 85 out of 100 versus 75 out of 100. Player 85, he thinks or she thinks they've really made it. So they don't do the one percenters, they don't pay the price, they're not disciplined, they don't have the right attitude, they start missing a little bit of training, they don't get the food right, they don't get the hydration right, the sleep right. And then what happens over a little bit of time is player 85 starts to drop and they might drop to 81 or 80 over time on the other side of the coin player 75 really works as hard as he or she can they're hungry because they've been jealous of player 85 it might be in the same team or it might be in the opposition um, they're jealous of the, 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 the rep jerseys that 85 player 85 got and they're jealous of all the accolades again, and he just keeps working hard, focuses on the little things, turns up to training all the time, turns up early, goes home late, all those kind of things. And if he or she just adds that little bit day on day on day, before you know it, they could be player 81 or, or 80 or 81 too. So Bear Bryant was excellent at telling that story, player 85 versus 75. They're not um, stable things, and these things can change all the time. 85 might wake up with a bad headache or feeling crook and he might drop down to 83 or 82. 75 could be having a good day. Uh, 75s, if you're not really working hard then you're going to drop down to 70 anyway.